What's going on guys? Matt with No BS Beard Reviews. Today, we're in the bathroom, which means it's beard trim time. Now, I'm not doing a huge trim. I trimmed my beard about a month or two ago, posted some photos on Instagram, and everybody was asking a ton of questions on what guard did you use here? What length is here? So I thought I would just record my maintenance trim. Uh, fingers crossed this little camera mount I have on the mirror holds up throughout this, but let's just go ahead and dive right in. So trimmer I'm using today is the Live Bearded MT1. I will drop a link below. You all can always use No BS 10, saves you 10%. Actually makes this a pretty affordable trimmer uh, with that discount code. So we're going to dive right in. I'm not taking too much off. I've noticed like as it's gotten a little bit longer, I'm getting cowlicks here. So we're just going to do a basic maintenance trim. I'm using the 18 millimeter guard. So that's the 18 millimeter first. I'm going to throw that on there. And I'm going up with this bad boy. We're going all out. Let's see how much we take off. I'm just taking a little bit out. Now with my beard, my goal is to keep the mustache and goatee area heavier. Uh, and then just trim the sides down a little bit. Now, prior to this beard trim, I put beard oil in. I blew out my beard, kind of straightened it about a few hours ago. So this is like midday for me. I've got a comb here. So I'm not gonna do too much. I'm gonna start freehanding some of this. I want to get the sides tamed first. For me, I, as my beard grows out, I get puffiness right here. And so if I just trim my beard a little bit, I instantly lose, like I've dropped a few pounds. Uh, so that was the 18. We'll probably go down a little bit. I'm gonna mess around here. I'm gonna jump to the, uh, what is that? A lighting in here. That's the 15 millimeter. You'll notice I'm not going into my beard right here. I'm just trying to take it from the outside, kind of, we're kind of kind of fade in a little bit, not too drastic. And one thing you know about me, if you've seen my videos before, I'm constantly coming through the beard, throughout the beard trim. Check our work. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't think I want to go much shorter. Yeah, that'll work. We're going to keep it there. All right, so at this point, guard's going to come off. We're going to do some freehand work. And then we'll fade the sides. And so I want my beard trim to look intentional. And I kind of like to keep kind of a, almost like a pointed shape at the bottom. I don't want an actual point, but just I like kind of that look. I want it to look like it's intentionally been trimmed that way.
Yeah, I love that. Cleaned up there a little bit. You guys, it just takes time trimming your beard over and over to learn how you like it and you just feel comfortable doing it. Trust me, I've jacked up my beard plenty of times. Biggest thing with this chin area here is I want to make sure it's even. I don't want that... I don't want too much of that point one way or the other. These trimmers are nice and grippy. I love that about a, a trimmer. Some trimmers are too plasticky feeling and you just slip out of your hands too easily. All right, so let's check our work. I think I'm pretty happy with that. My beard wants to grow that way. right there. Try to take little short strokes. I just trimmed my mustache the other day, so I'm not going to touch that. I am debating about the starting handlebar again. I 
If I decide to do that, I might trim a little bit under. Maybe I'll do a separate video of that, how to make your mustache pop. All right, let's mess with the sides here a little bit. I've gotten away from having to have that perfect like bald fade. I just trim them up some. Um, so we're gonna go with the 12 millimeter. See what kind of trouble we can get into with that. So I'm just kind of starting about bottom of that part of my ear. Fade doesn't look like, doesn't jump out too much. All right, so I'm next gonna drop down to the nine millimeter. And I'll start a little bit higher. See what that looks like. Yeah, we're still looking good. You can see no big lines. And so we're just gonna keep on going, going down. Dropping down to the old six mil. Again, every time I go down shorter in length, I'm going higher on my ear. And next we will drop it to the three millimeter. And I will keep it at that. Again, can I... I think we might be good. You'll notice I'm in a white t-shirt. I always like to either wear a white shirt. As the grayer my beard gets though, I'm gonna maybe start wearing a black shirt. Uh, it just makes your beard pop. I know my beard doesn't actually cover my shirt, but just the color contrast helps out with trimming. There you go, guys. I think we're good. What do you think? Does it look even? Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Again, this is just, you know, a beard trim I would do maybe once a month. I do get tired. My sides, I'll do those more often. But again, I'm all about just keeping it clean, having that detailed chiseled beard. Again, what do you think? Does it look, so my face looks slimmer uh, just by taking a little bit of bulk out right here? I think it does, but who knows? All right, guys, that was the Live Bearded MT1 Trimmer. Again, I'll drop a link below if you want to pick this bad boy up. I highly recommend it. It's a good trimmer. It does everything you need it to do. It comes with a bunch of different guards. Um, the charge on this, I've got 164 minutes left. I mean, it runs forever. I haven't charged this in forever either. So, um, I'm tempted to take a little bit of weight out of the mustache, but I want to keep growing that a little bit. All right, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. 
God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.